Paul, and maybe the effects the wind had on the game today, too. Well, the, obviously, you know, the wind made it, not only that it was windy, it was it was cold. It made it a lot colder than it was. And, you know, it affected one ball that Braden Webb almost gave up on, and he caught it, and it was probably a foot foul. You know, their, their center fielder lost a ball, and then he found it, but then he – the wind pushed it by him. He ran past it. It cost him a couple runs. And uh, I mean, wind, wind is wind in baseball is not a good thing, really, most of the time. Uh, but you know, it's the same for both teams. I thought it was a defensively is a very well played game for as cold as it is. Um, you know, I think that they took advantage of just about everything that we gave them. I think we we walked them three times and hit them once, and it seemed like. Uh, you know, they, they scored runs. And, uh, you know, as, as far as, you know, hits, they outscored us to, or out hit us tonight. But uh, I felt like we hit a bunch of balls hard. I mean, Braden Webb lined out three times, good hard a couple of times. And, and, and Heston and, you know, gosh, Franklin, I mean, you could go on and on. But we just, we just couldn't get that big hit to really get us over the hump. And felt fortunate to punch those two runs in in the seventh. And, uh, just kind of turned it over a couple older guys, give us one inning each. I mean, we're still experimenting a little bit and trying to figure it out. But uh, you know, Gonzaga is an older team, and they're they're gonna they're gonna fight you to the end, just like they did against New Mexico in their last game uh, when they scored two or three runs in the bottom of the ninth to win. They're not gonna they're not gonna roll over, and uh, they they've got a good club. Uh, obviously, Robert Moore had a big hit for you. Just, uh, you know, how's he adjusting when he should be in high school? Yeah, you know, I mean, that was that was a real big swing there. And uh, the second inning, that whole inning started with two outs, I think, uh, a couple of two out singles, and then maybe a walk. And and then Robert hit the first pitch fastball down the line for for a two RBI double. And uh, I think that uh, it's just helping him relax a little bit. He's been swinging the bat pretty good. He hit another ball hard today that was caught deep in center field and. Uh, you know he's plays really good defense, and I think he's he's hanging in there. He's doing he's doing good. What did you think of the job Monk and Tress did today? I thought Monk did a really nice job. He came in and threw the first couple pitches for a strike, got ahead of the guy, and you know got a couple of quick outs. And you know runner got on, he battled out, and got got him out, and got us in the dugout, and uh, we let him go back out. You know last week when he went back out for a second, it, it didn't go as good, but today it went good, and that's good to see. And uh, you know, he uh, he gave us what we needed right there, a couple of shutdown innings where we could, you know, maybe get the lead, and uh, that's exactly what happened. And then, you know, Trest, I mean, he uh, he came in and just pounded the strike zone. He didn't get any strikeouts, I don't think, and uh, but he got outs, and it didn't take very long, and uh, that's what we want, you know, especially on a cold day. You don't want to give him anything, and uh, it, was, it, was, it was good all the way down the stretch, the last three guys. Yeah, then Ramage's day, and then Kevin Copps comes in also before uh, Trest and Monk. They both had good I... stuff. They just didn't have really good command. You know, you can blame a little bit on the weather, but uh, you know they were both a little bit, a little bit wild pitching behind in the count. Uh, you know, Cole a couple of times, three zero counts, came back once. Uh, just too many pitches, really, more than anything. And Kevin, almost the same thing uh, when you look at it, and. He didn't throw his – he'd throw one really good fastball and they'd leave one up in the zone and it'd be way up. And and uh, the thing he was throwing – he was throwing a cutter for a strike and they kind of started sitting on it. That was really what he could command. And, uh, you know, the, the good thing is with, with Kevin, we could bring him back later this weekend if we if we need to. Moore's defense a little bit. The what? Moore's defense. Yeah, I mean, his defense has been solid. You know, the scoreboard was broke out there. It wasn't working. And uh, the umpire told him there was one out. We all knew there were two. They thought there was two, but they were told one. And uh, so we got four outs out one inning if you take the double play ball. But uh, he's been solid. You know, I, I thought he made a really good read on the little ball off the end of the bat. It fooled our first base, but then the wind kind of pushed it. And, uh, you know, he caught it awkwardly, underhand kind of basket catch. That, that, that was leadoff man. And that would have been uh, – that could have been a little bit of a problem uh, because it was the leadoff man in the inning was also the 9-0 hitter, and the top of their order is really good. So – uh, you know, it's the way it works. Just like there in the ninth, we had to go through three, four, and five. And those guys can hit. They're big and strong, a little older. You know, the one's freshman, the, I think the four hole, but the other guys, I mean, they're, they, they've got some at-bats under the belt. When you say Cops, he comes back, 
Does that mean potentially starting with game four? No. Or is Adam feel free? Out, of, out of the pen. We don't know who we're going to throw game four yet, honestly. And if I knew, I'd tell you, but, but I'm not sure yet. We're going to – See how we can handle their good lefty tomorrow, and then they got a supposedly even better righty on Saturday. And uh, you know, I think the lefty threw six or seven shutout in innings last week, or maybe gave up one, and they end up letting it slip. So we know we've got our hands full tomorrow. We'll just do whatever we have to do to win tomorrow. And as far as bullpen, and the same on Saturday, and who we'll just make a decision after Saturday's game who we're going to start. You moved Franklin down in the order. He came up and was safe on that fielder's choice. What did you see from him? Yeah, just, I mean, he's having good at-bats. He just missed a fastball a couple pitches earlier in that at-bat that could have been a really big swing for us. Um, he's been a tough out, just a much, much better offensive player this year than last. Uh, swing's better. It's flatter. Um, battling. And, uh you know, the speed paid off there. He didn't get out of the box very good, but once he did, he, he knew he needed to beat that out, and, and he did. Got us, a, got us an RBI, and then, you know, luckily the call went our way, and then what happens right after that? We get a wild pitch, we score another run. So, really him hustling led to two runs for us. All right. <laughs>